You know, when I was at Kendall, it was, um, it, was, it was a shock to me because I was also out of, you know, home and, and, and coming out of high, fresh out of high school, um, I was kind of like into the new world, you know, for the first time. So everything was very new to me, you know, and I thought that um, living there, experiencing student life, going to school, being on campus, being able to explore not only Evanston, but also I, I lived in Rogers Park um, and in Chicago. Everything was just very, very new to me. And I thought that was one thing that um, was very exciting at the time when I started. Go further. Do research on your own. Do some traveling. Go out to eat. Go set up stages in other chefs' kitchens. You know, uh, take, take the initiative to really um, educate yourself even further. Because once you get into the real world and, and are in some of these, you know, top kitchens or Michelin rated kitchens or whatever, um, it's, it's a very fast and intense ball game that you have to adapt to very quickly. I think the, the coolest thing about the awards, um, first of all, it's, it's a personal goal of mine to be nominated eventually and, and have those kind of accolades. Um, I mean, 25, 26 years of cooking, it, it's something nice to you know, tip my hat to after all those years. Um, but I think particularly in Chicago, it's nice to just have because it gives awareness to uh, what we have going on in the city and it just lets the, the rest of the nation kind of look at us. Not only just come here and try our restaurants, but to really you know, showcase what we do. Because we always feel that you know, we have high caliber restaurants, just like, just like New York. You know? Okay, education, culture, and resources. 